Identifying and repelling garden bugs is an important part of maintaining healthy plants. While there are many different types of destructive garden bugs that you need to get rid of, there are also many beneficial insects that you want to attract to your garden. By the end of this video, you will be able to identify common destructive bugs that need to go and the beneficial insects that you want to attract to your garden. Not only to pollinate your plants, but to help control the evil bugs so that you will have a great harvest this year. Aphids are tiny, soft-bodied insects that come in many colors, including green, black, and red. They are typically found on the undersides of leaves and on new growth. Aphids suck the sap from plants, which can cause them to wilt and die. They will attack a wide variety of plants, including roses, tomatoes, peppers, and lettuce. To repel aphids, use a strong stream of water to wash them off the plants. You can also spray plants with insecticidal soap or neem oil. Ladybugs, lacewings, and praying mantises love to feast on aphids, so you want them in your garden. You can also plant specific herbs and flowers around their favorite plants, such as basil, catnip, nasturtiums, and alliums, like garlic, onion, and chives. These plants may help repel those nasty aphids. The potato beetle is a small oval-shaped insect with a distinctive yellow and black stripe pattern. As their name suggests, potato beetles primarily attack potato plants, but they will target tomatoes and eggplants also, which are also in the nightshade family. The best way to protect your potatoes from the potato beetle is to use row covers. Also, hand-pick those destructive bugs the moment you see them and drop them into a bucket of soapy water to kill those little buggers. Natural enemies of the potato bug include parasitic wasps, lace wings, and spined soldier bugs. Planting beans among your potatoes can confuse the potato beetles, making it more difficult for them to find their favorite meal. Also, radish leaves give off a scent that the beetles don't like and, when planted near the potatoes, can repel these destructive bugs. The Japanese beetle is a metallic green beetle with bronze-colored wings. They are very pretty for being so destructive. These bugs are most active during the day and can be found on a variety of plants, including beans, grapes, and fruit trees. To keep these bugs off your plants, use row covers or hand-pick them from your plants and drop them into a bucket of soapy water. You can also buy Japanese beetle traps that work very well. Japanese beetles really like borage, so you may want to plant a trap crop away from your other crops to lure these harmful pests away. They don't like the scent of allium, so you may also want to plant some onions, chives, or garlic around the plants you are trying to protect. Vine borers are the larvae of a moth that lays its eggs at the base of plants. The larvae then burrow into the stem, causing significant damage. These pests primarily attack squash, pumpkins, and melons. To control vine borers, use row covers or insecticidal soap. You can also use BT on any kind of caterpillar or worm. Adult vine borers are attracted to the color yellow, so hanging a yellow sticky trap near your squash and melons may trap them before they are able to lay their eggs. Also, their favorite food is the blue Hubbard squash. By planting this trap crop far away from other squash and melons, you can lure them away from your harvest. Cabbage moths are small white butterflies with black spots. It's really annoying when the enemy is so attractive, isn't it? The larvae of these moths are small green caterpillars that can cause significant damage to plants. As their name suggests, cabbage moths primarily attack cabbage plants, but they also target broccoli, cauliflower, and other members of the brassica family. To protect your plants from cabbage moths, use row covers or handpick the worms as you find them. Bt will also help kill the worms. Celery and beets give off an odor that can confuse the moths, so plant them near your brassicas. Cutworms are the larvae of a variety of moths. They are typically found on the soil surface where they cut off the stems of young plants. Cutworms will attack many plants, including tomatoes, peppers, and lettuce. To repel the moths before they lay their eggs, use row covers. Bt will also kill the worms. Planting dill, daisies, and cilantro can entice parasitic wasps into your garden. Parasitic wasps lay their eggs on all kinds of worms. As the eggs hatch, the larvae eat the cutworms from the inside out, killing them. Sounds gruesome, doesn't it? But this is war. Spider mites are tiny insects that can be difficult to see with the naked eye. They are typically found on the undersides of leaves and can cause significant damage to plants. Spider mites will attack crop plants that include tomatoes, peppers, and strawberries. To repel these tiny adversaries, use a strong stream of water to wash them off your plants. You can also spray the infected plants with insecticidal soap or neem oil. 
Leaf miners are the larvae of a variety of insects, including flies, moths, and beetles. While you will probably never see these larvae, they create distinctive tunnels or mines on the leaves of the plants. Leaf miners will attack many different types of plants, including spinach, lettuce, and beets. To repel leaf miners, use row covers or insecticidal soap. This is becoming a recurring theme, isn't it? Parasitic wasps are a natural predator of leaf miners. I have created a printout that helps you identify the good bugs and the bad bugs in your garden. If you would like to have one, I'll leave a link in the description. White flies are small white insects with powdery wings. They are typically found on the undersides of leaves and can cause significant damage to plants. When you brush up against the plant, they can cause a white cloud of tiny bugs alerting you to their presence. They will feast on many kinds of your plants, including tomatoes, peppers, and eggplants. To repel white flies, use a strong stream of water to wash them off the plants. You can also spray them with insecticidal soap or neem oil. Cucumber beetles are small, oval-shaped insects with distinctive black and yellow stripes or yellow with black spots on their backs. They are typically found on the leaves of plants and can cause significant damage to both leaves and fruit. Cucumber beetles primarily attack cucumbers and squash plants, but they also target melons, pumpkins, and gourds. To protect your plants from cucumber beetles, use row covers or insecticidal soap. Also, a trap crop of blue hubbard squash can lure these pests away from your food crop. Squash bugs are brown insects about a half an inch long with a distinctive shield-shaped body. They are usually found on the leaves and stems of plants and can cause a lot of damage both to the leaves and to the fruit. They lay tiny yellow to bronze colored oval shaped eggs on the undersides of the leaves. When you find these eggs, squash them. Squash bugs primarily attack squash, pumpkins, and cucumbers. While they will do extensive damage to mature plants, they will kill young plants quickly. To repel squash bugs, use row covers or neem oil. Again, planting blue hubbard squash away from your food crops can lure squash bugs away. There are many natural predators of these destructive garden bugs. Encouraging these natural predators can help control these pests in a natural and effective way. Here are some examples of garden allies. Ladybugs are natural predators of aphids and other soft-bodied insects. The ladybug that is most common in North America is the seven-spotted ladybug, which can be identified by its domed red back with seven black spots. Plant fennel, marigold, sunflowers, and yarrow to attract these beneficial insects. Lacewings have long, thin bodies that may be pale green or brown in color. They have translucent wings with veins that make them appear lacy. Lacewing larvae feed on aphids and other soft-bodied insects and are capable of eating hundreds of aphids in their lifetime. Dill, yarrow, and alyssum will attract lacewings to your garden. Parasitic wasps are tiny, only about four one-hundredths of an inch long, but they can be a gardener's best friend. These tiny insects lay their eggs on the larvae of many garden pests, including tomato worms and cabbage worms. Once the eggs hatch, the larvae eat the worms from the inside out, killing them. To attract parasitic wasps to your garden, which, by the way, do not sting humans, plant marigolds, goldenrod, and dill. Praying mantises eat all kinds of insects, including aphids, whiteflies, and grasshoppers. Basically, they aren't very picky about what insects they eat. They will even eat each other. These insects with triangular heads get quite large and have large front feet that are folded like they're praying when they're at rest. They use these front feet to hold onto their prey while they're eating them, usually while the bug is still alive. Praying mantises may be attracted to your garden if you plant some fennel. Spine soldier bugs and squash bugs can look very similar at first glance, but there are some key differences that can help you identify them. Spine soldier bugs, which is a type of stink bug, are generally larger than squash bugs, measuring about one half to three quarters of an inch in length. They have a distinctive shield shaped body with a pointed head and spiny legs. Their body is brownish gray in color with black spots, and they have a white or yellowish underside. They also have long, slender antennae and prominent bulging eyes. The spine soldier bugs eat many harmful bugs that attack your garden, especially those that attack fruit trees. They also eat grubs and the larvae of beetles and moths. Thank you for stopping by the old Mayfield place today. Stay healthy, know your bugs, and have a blessed week.